Kazuchika Okada's great trunks versus Buddy Matthews. <laughs> They look like stained glass. They were just awesome. And he they comes were, out. Uh, he's got his like forty pound robe with a foot high collar all over. And he he he's, he's the rainmaker. He comes out and does his entrance. He's posed on the ramp. And he gets in the ring. He's posed in the corner. The place is going crazy. And he takes off that robe in the corner. And he lifts the big heavy thing out and over. And he's still got like the it's like a sumo sash almost uh, over his lower body. And he goes to unwrap it. And he teases, and he teases, and it's almost, it's, it's like a stripper, honestly. And he's going to reveal what he's got underneath this, and he teases and teases, and he p- p- punches the mic, and he pulls it away, and he's got stained glass trunks on. They're awesome. I was going to say, I think they were leftovers from um, Juice Robinson's tights. <laughs> he took the scraps and put yeah. them all together. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that possibility. So, Okada Buddy Matthews, you know, a lot of people were raving about this. I thought it was... Uh, I, I, the best way to put this is, and I've mentioned this before, the curse of greatness Okada has. Like, if it's not four and a half stars, I'm disappointed. Mm-hmm. This is like three and a half or four stars. And I was like, eh, it was fine. It was good. <laughs> it, was, it was a good match. I was on the low end of Okada matches, on the very high end of Buddy Matthews matches. Uh, I don't know about that. He's had some fucking awesome matches, right? dude. But oh, I, yeah. think, I think what part of it is, is, is the same thing happened with Andrade. Sometimes people move from one place to another, and the first match is not what it could be. I believe that if they had this match again at the tapings tomorrow, mm. it'd be like twice as good as this. Okay. Because, you know, the first match Andrade had in NXT wasn't very good. He got significantly better from match two on. The first match Andrade had on Dynamite, people were like, oh my God, overrated, blah, blah, blah. Then he wasn't. This happens to some guys. Like you, you, you've you've wrestled in WWE. There's been an expectation. You've had limitations. Blah blah blah. You have your first match, and Shazam. From there, it's off to the races. Everybody was comparing Buddy Murphy to Kenny Omega when he was in WWE, and when this wasn't an Okada Kenny Omega match, I was disappointed. But not really, because you know it's not Kenny Omega. Yeah, I never thought it was Kenny Omega. I watched him. I looked. He looked. He just. The way he his physique, which is enormous, yes. But the the, the way he moves, his facials, his mannerisms, he reminds me of Mini Triple H. This is Mini Triple H versus Okada, which was I, good. I was waiting for him to deliver, but way a more trigger. athletic, way more. Yeah. I was waiting for him to to use the V trigger because that's what he used in WWE, and he never did, probably on purpose. So, afterwards, so as you mentioned, uh, Will Ospreay. Never lost the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. Okada won with the Rainmaker. Did we mention that? We should mention Okada with with the first Rainmaker. There was not 8,000. But it was a really, really good match. Sure, sure. And there was a, before you get to the finish, there was a weird thing where where Buddy hit Omega was, or I'm sorry, (laughs) Buddy hit Okada. Okada was something, and he was down for a long time, and like the ref actually moved Buddy off of him. And it's, I was like, why? Why is why is the match still going? Well, yeah, there, I think it was like it was like some sort of ground and pound, and the referee was was right. pulling him off. And I was like, maybe he was upset about the closed fist. Was, the, 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 he was doing the Daniel Bryan style. I did it again. Brian Danielson MMA elbows. Yeah, elbows. Yes. yes. Yeah, and you can do that. You know, there's a legal What's strikes. Fucking ref doing. Yeah. These yeah. fans were screaming, "Fuck this guy! We want red shoes." I did hear that. I did hear that. Well, so afterwards, Will Ospreay. Never pinned, never submitted for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. He comes out with his version of that belt. And, of course, Okada, the G1 winner, is still carrying around, or started, again, to carry around the old version of the IWGP belt, which I've seen it in person before, but not this close. That belt is a thing of beauty. Oh, my God, what a great belt The old is. IWGP title. The one Okada awesome. has right now, yeah. Yeah, this new, this new thing, not a fan. No one else is either. I, don't, I, don't I think, think there's about six fans of this new belt, from from what I've determined online. It's probably Osprey, Takagi, and Ghetto, right? Uh, I'm not even sure about. Uh... Yeah. Anyway, so the two champions, the two uncrowned champions, the two self declared champions, square off, and Osprey says, "Long time no see, big brother," and he congratulates him on his G1 win. Notice the only reason he won the G1 was because, was because Osprey was uh, not there in Japan to win, or he would have won it. But the point is. You've won the right to challenge the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. Well, that means you should challenge me. 
And Okada kind of laughs and says, I'm not going to challenge you. You're going to challenge me. And he holds his belt up. The face looks crazy. And Osprey essentially agrees and says, fine. You face Takagi on January 4th at Wrestle Kingdom. And I will face the winner on January 5th at Wrestle Kingdom. And apparently it was later that day or the next day the match was made official. And that's what that there you go. There's your uh, double main event. I predicted this whole thing on Observer Live like three weeks ago. Wrestle Kingdom. Well, it makes it sense. It wrote itself. When you the, when you have a, a three way disputed title like this, it and makes two sense. nights of the dome, and two nights of the dome, it's a yes. great way to resolve everything. Again, maybe it's just that as a Canadian who has always had health insurance, this doesn't seem. Max, smarten up. To this, be a big this deal. This is going to go to the best of right here, Lance. Yeah. You're being corralled away by uh, by this dog. By a dog trying to eat my wife's uh, boots. Oh, man. Oh, they said they must be tasty. Yeah, if my wife gets home and her good leather boots are chewed up, I'm dead. You'll be chewed up next. Yeah, I'll be living outside with the dog. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.